Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Coffee Run Live. Let's make sure, yes, the Wi-Fi is off. That is a good thing because the Wi-Fi can make things a little bit funky in the land of Nicola. It doesn't, it means that sometimes you don't actually get the, um, you don't actually always get to see what it is that we are talking about. So let me, well today what we are talking about, hi, hi everyone. Let me know that you can hear me please and let me know, let me know who is on. I can't see for some reason, I can't see the notification for actually who is on and live. So let me know, please let me know. It'd be really, really awesome to hear from you. Um, before I get stuck into the flamingos and the crabs, which is the topic of this morning's The Coffee Run Live, I wanted to share with you really briefly that we have got our five day million dollar content challenge free, five day million dollar content challenge happening uh, today, we start today. So if you have not registered yet, you can do so in the link that I've just hopefully typed in below. Hello, Catherine, good morning. I don't know why it's not showing me the things. Um, it's really, really very strange. But anyway, we've, I've got you now. So before I get into the flamingos and the crabs, let us talk about the content challenge. So we're going live every day for five days. And the, the, the reason I put this together was because I was thinking a couple of weeks ago, all right, you know, I've got to up the ante. I, I want to create five free things in a week. I want to make sure that I've got really high, high valuable, highly valuable content going out every day on a daily basis and have it being even more, like even more powerful than kind of what I already share with you guys. So I was like, right, what, what can I do? What do I need to do? And so this is where we came up with the five day million dollar content challenge. It is free, 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 free. So that means you don't have to pay for it. Your cost of entry is you must be a badass or a badass in training and you must register with your email address. So um, hopefully that comment has gone in there. I can't see it. I actually can't see anyone's comment. So please let me know that you can hear me and that this is actually working because I've also just seen that our live numbers have dropped down. So please let me know that this is actually even working. That would be helpful because otherwise I'm going to feel like a right idiot. So I'm just going to assume that you've got me and I'm guessing that I'll just have to come back and answer the questions or comments and things like that in the in the chat after we've finished doing things because I can't see what you're saying anyway. So what I wanted to talk with you about today outside of the challenge, make sure you register for that, is about crabs and flamingos. Now, when you are when you're looking at growing your business, right? You are needing to elevate. You are needing to lift up. You're needing to dig deeper than you probably have ever before. It means that you are most likely, and unless you're, a, you know, really lucky to be blessed with all of the visibility that you could ever possibly need, you're going to have to start to put yourself out there a lot more. Fair call? I think that's a fair call. And that requires a lot of guts, a lot of determination, a lot of grit, a lot of resilience, and a lot of fucking bravery. Now, what can happen, and I've had this happen personally, and I, I would suggest, or I'd hesitate a, a, a guesstimate that every client I have worked with has had to deal with this at some point in time or another, whereby people around them kind of erode away at our, our bedrock of confidence. So what I was thinking about is if you imagine that for every every piece of affirming advice, affirmation, um, every positive piece of feedback, say, you know what, you're doing amazingly. I can't believe you're doing this. This is so freaking all awesome. You're going out there. You're taking on the world. You're doing all of this stuff. Every time someone says something like that to you and they're just like, oh my God, you looked amazing. Let's say that we need, I haven't got a chart, but if you imagine that there's a chunk, like 10 chunks, right? And for a chunk to be complete, you need about five 
positive affirmations, confidence building things, um, external evidence, internal evidence, motivation, inspiration, all of that kind of thing to fill up one block, right? So you've got five amazing things that get said, great, we've got one block. We get another block, it's got five amazing things, and then the next block needs five amazing things and so on and so forth. Now, what can happen when someone says to you, and, and this happens all the time, and it's a, it's a bit like the tall poppy syndrome that we've got going on here in Australia. I don't know that it's actually quite as bad in the, in the US. But for, for entrepreneurs, business owners, practice owners, people who are out there really wanting to grow and build their own thing here in this country, there are people who will almost try and keep us in the, in the same place that we are right now because you don't, don't want to get too big for your boots, right? You can't be too outspoken. You can't be too successful. You know, what will all the people think? So the thing that, get that, that, that these people will do uh, in, in an effort, I believe it comes from their, their motivation and their intention most of the time is from the right place, right? They're trying to, they're trying to keep you safe. They're trying to protect you, maybe trying to protect you from failure, maybe trying to protect you from, you know, looking like a dickhead, maybe protect you from feeling like an asshole, you know, whatever it might be, or, or protect you from failure, you know, God forbid. And, and the thing that they do, though, is that they, they undermine those, those confidence blocks. So if it takes five positive things to build a confidence block, the reality is it takes one negative thing to erode a whole block. So it's like a one to five ratio, okay? So this is where you got one, two, three, four, five good things. And then with one fell swoop of, of someone saying, oh, um, your hair looked really shit in that photo today. Why did you post it? Or I don't understand what it is that you're doing or you're flooding everybody. You've got to turn, you know, you've got to slow it down. There's all of these things that people will say to try and kind of like push you down. And the downside is, is that it takes one, you know, you know, almost like one slap to a road, five good positive things. So this is where the crabs, so we're, we're, we're trying to be like the flamingos and the crabs. So if you imagine that as a business owner, we're a flamingo. We are weirdos. Let's just put that out there for a second. We are all a little, we are all a little bit strange. We are all a little bit weird. We're a bit crazy. You know, we've got these harebrained ideas that, oh my God, we can throw some stuff on the internet and people will give us money for it. We can go in and, and get clients using the internet. You know, we're crazy. We're not really, I think we are a little bit crazy because we're, you know, we're chasing our dreams. We're doing our thing, you know, oh, thank you. Thank you for the love. Um, it's nice to know that you can actually hear me. Thank you. I don't know who it was, but I really appreciate your interaction. So if we imagine that we're like a flamingo, right? We are flamingos. We are pretty. We're a pink, a little bit like our crowned flamingo in the background there. We stand out. We're shiny, right? We're shiny compared to the other people. Not that there's anything wrong with the other people, but the other people who are out there working their jobs, living a traditional kind of life, following a normal mainstream, for want of a better word, you know, following normal mainstream type occupations and things like that, or, or ways of making money, ways of raising families, ways of doing things. It can look like we are really freaking strange, right? And, and, and a little nuts. And so we're like the flamingo. We stand out, then you've got the crabs and the crabs are, the crabs are the, you know what happens when you, if you've got a bucket of crabs, a bucket of live crabs, you guys know what happens, right? You got a bucket, all of the live crabs are in there and they're all trying to get to the top of the bucket. So what they do is like they'll climb, climb, climb. They don't care who they climb on these little crabs. And they, they, they see the crab on the top and they'll actually, with our little pincers, they'll grab the top crab and pull it down to try and get the top crab position. This is what the people in our worlds are like, not because they're trying to, you know, get the top position, but more because they, they, they're, they don't want you to escape out of the familiar. They don't want you to escape out of the bucket. So it's like crabs in a bucket. You constantly get pulled down and pulled down and pulled down. And so you, every time you feel like you're progressing, it's like with every negative comment, it's like you're pulled back down. You've got to try and get back up again. Hey, Amanda. And 
like my theory, we or my, the way that I've seen this play out is like, you know what, crabs in a bucket. This can look like people who want to give you constructive feedback, um, people who, that you're that you're not paying for, right? I will take all of the feedback from people that I'm paying for their strategic advice. But other than that, you know, I'm like, no, no, no. You know, you can keep your opinion to yourself. I'm an expert at what I do. I know what I'm doing. Um, you know, I'm not looking for feedback from people that I'm not paying for. So, you know, it's like these people, even though they're well-meaning, they can actually be really, really detrimental. And that's why I call them a crab. So they, my thing is this, what I want you to do is imagine that everyone is in are the crabs in the bucket and you are, you're the bucket, right? You are the bucket. You're not a crab in a bucket. You are a bucket. Okay. So that's the first thing or the second thing really. So be a flamingo, a flamingo bucket. You're just amazing. At, at doing the things that you do and communicating what you're communicating and things like that. Now, here's the other thing. I know from experience, not obviously, but from experience, my own personal experience, I know it can feel really fucking hard to shut out all of that noise. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to find five people, okay? Five people. Yes, you know, uh, don't listen to feedback from people that you are not paying. They do not have, they're not looking at your stuff strategically. They're trying to be helpful for a lot of the time, but they're not looking at your stuff strategically. People don't understand, normal people don't understand the way that visibility works. They don't understand the way that marketing works. They don't understand the way that, you know, the way that we do things and the way that we bring people through. They don't get it. They, they just think that you're out there like, saying all the things all the time. And I mean, yes, we are, but we're doing it strategically. We're not just doing it because we're so full of ourselves and we have these big, huge, massive fucking egos that we have to be talking out there in the world every single day, you know, multiple times a day. Like, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. That's not why we're doing things. We're out there adding value. We're educating, we're training, we're marketing, we're helping with an effort to help People get to know us, like us, and trust us so that they can buy our stuff so that we can help them at a deeper level. The general public don't understand that. So we we don't, uh, the, the people who are giving us the feedback don't understand that unless we're paying for that feedback. That's the clarification point with that. So it's really, care you've got to be really careful with who you listen to and who you allow into your world. Because if you give yourself, like my, my thing is this, if you, you want to have, um, and I drew this in my journal today, but I'm going to build it out a bit better because it's really hard to kind of see. So you've got your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've got your confidence blocks there, right? All your confidence blocks. And then somebody says something and then bang, that's down and then bang, that's down and then bang, that's down. We've got to try and build that up and be as strong as we can because that is the thing that forms the bedrock of your confidence. And we can't do that if we're listening to the crabs, right? So one thing that you can do is you can, and I know this may want to make you, you may want to vomit, but I would recommend if you've had well-meaning, well-intentioned people giving you some feedback, we'll use that term lightly, um, giving you some suggestions, perhaps again, we'll use that term lightly because they're looking at it through their perception, not yours and certainly not your, your prospective client's eyes, right? We want to say to them, you know what, I really value and appreciate you. Thank you so much, but I need you to not talk to me about this. Okay, I, I, I've got this. I'm scared enough as it is putting myself out there, growing my visibility, going, doing these things, you know, risking it all. You know, I'm scared enough that it's not going to work. So really all I need to hear from you is that you've got this. All right, so that's one thing you can do. The second thing you can do is not even engage in a conversation with them and just block them from your social media. Aha, I know, it's mind blowing. You can go in and so long as they have uh, interacted on your page, you can actually block them from, the, from your page so they won't see your stuff. Now, we all think that when we do this, that the sky is going to fall in, that the that there's going to be massive repercussions. We all anticipate all of this stuff. And, and usually what happens is it's a non-event. They just don't even realize, like the people who are giving you the feedback and opinions, um, they just don't really get it. So for instance, I, um, I had some interesting conversations early on 
with some different people that, that are a part of my family. And I've just gone, I've just gone through and I've just blocked them all because I didn't want them. I didn't need them to worry for me. Right. I didn't need them to be looking at my stuff thinking like, what the fuck is she talking about now? I didn't, I didn't, I don't have the energy. They are never going to buy from me. I don't have the energy, nor the time, nor the inclination to try and explain all of the ins and outs of all of the things to them. Um, I don't know if they realized or if they knew and it's just like, well, that's fine. You know, just go through and do the things. And, and, and nothing actually, there, was, there has never been in all the years that this has been done, there's never been a conversation about it. Um, so, you know, it, it, it gave me the freedom. And this is why you would do something like that. In order for you to feel the freedom for you to be able to express yourself in a way that you really want to, so that you can get your message out there, so that you can reach your prospective clients, so that you can do the work that you know that you are here to do, so you can unleash your message, your training, your education, your your flavors out into the world. You can't be worried about what other people think, right? And, and the second we pay attention to other people's opinions, it erodes one of those confidence blocks. And we can't allow that to happen. Your people need you, your audience needs you, and you've got to get yourself out there on a really consistent level. So that is my sermon for Monday. So get yourself out there and go do it. <laughs> All right. And if you've got people around you that are giving you unhelpful or, you know, helpful advice, you don't have to take it. Take it with a grain of salt. Say, yes, thank you. And then you know, go off and do your own thing. The people that I get strategic advice from are people I'm paying. And then I will do everything that they tell me to do because that's how compliant I am. I will do as I'm told because there is a reason that I've chosen to listen to them. There's a reason I've chosen to pay them. And it's never, it's, and it's usually because they know something different to what I know, or they might know what, uh, they might know more than me, or they've got more experience than me. Or that they 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 see through like they call me out of my shit, and and I that's just that's just invaluable because I play it safe sometimes. I know you play it safe sometimes. It's just the nature of getting comfortable and then having to find that next way that you can lift. So there you go, my friends. That is my as I said, that's my sermon for Monday. I trust that's been motivating and and inspiring. And you know we get to talk. We we got to talk about flamingos and crabs. I mean, how fun? How fun is that? So that is that. We've got our five-day content challenge starting off this afternoon. So if you're not in there, the link is www.nicolajmorass.com forward slash challenge. I, the, the comment was supposed to go up in here, but I can't actually see it. So that's a bit weird. Um, but that's how you can go ahead and register the, the, first, uh, the first module, if you like, or the first training will happen in there today. Really excited. It's totally free. And that is what we are doing this week. So get out there, go help some people, have a whole ton of fun doing it. And remember the world is ready for your brand of awesome and you are a total badass. I will see you tomorrow, if not before.